Hi, I'm Ron of Ron's Trains and Things, and if you'd like to see more model railroading tips, tools, and techniques, then be sure and subscribe down below and click that little bell icon so you can catch future videos. Whenever you're ballasting your track, one of the most frustrating things can be when static electricity begins to build up on your brush and the ballast begins to stick to your brush. Usually this results in getting ballast in the webs of the rails, on the tops of the ties, all the places that you really don't want it. This static electricity can be especially problematic whenever you're dealing with fine ballast like I use on my in-scale layout. Well today I want to show you a little tip to help you get rid of the static electricity on your brush and to be more successful in spreading your ballast with a lot less frustration. When you're spreading ballast along your tracks, uh, as you spread it, uh, just the motion of the brush rubbing against the ballast and the tracks, that friction can cause static electricity to build up and grains of the ballast can stick to your brush. You can see already I've got several grains already sticking to the ends of the bristles of my brush and that can, can cause a real problem. Well, one way to solve that problem is to bring in a dryer sheet and just keep this on hand. Um, now, I'm allergic to the perfumes in most dryer sheets, so I use unscented ones, and that's fine. Just make sure you're using one that has not been used. And whenever you're spreading your ballast, every so often, just rub your brush inside of that dryer sheet, and that removes the static electricity from the brush. That's exactly how the dryer sheets work in your dryer. And just every little while, rub it on there, and that'll take the static electricity out, and will make it a lot easier to spread your ballast and keep it off of the webs of the rails and the tops of the ties and get it just in the places that you want. So I hope you'll give this dryer sheet technique a try. I think you'll find that it really helps solve the frustration of static electricity on your brush. This micro tip was brought to you by the Down and Dirty Weathering Contest. Well, if you enjoyed this micro tip, here's a link to some more tips that I know you'll enjoy as well. Also, give this video a thumbs up down below, and be sure and share it online wherever model railroaders hang out. Also, check out the description down below, where you'll find a link to my Amazon page, my Amazon Pick of the Week, as well as my Patreon page, and ways that you can connect with me on various social media. Join me again next Tuesday as I'll be bringing you another great modeling segment, and I look forward to seeing you then. Ten, Lizzie?